First, I'd like to say hello to everyone. I'm sorry I'm not there at the, at the shareholders meeting. It's pretty cold in New York and tough getting out, but um, at least we uh, are having a chance to say hello this way. I have to tell you, it's an incredibly exciting time for us. Um, I know there's been a lot of anticipation about uh, seeing the building coming along, and um, we have done some work, and, and I think 2018 is going to be a very exciting year for all of us uh, um, as the project uh, moves along. You know, I think people have heard me say many times that it's pretty unusual for me to start a project with the kind of vision and brief that the club provided for us. And um, that was one of the reasons I was first excited about the project. And then I fell in love with the club and uh, Goodison. And, um, you know, it's really become a, a, a really unusual, very um, a very passionate project for me and, and I think a career defining one and that kind of um, strong vision about who the club is and who the community is I, I have no doubt will um, create a unique building that will be a model for uh, football the world over. We've seen a lot of new buildings become these very large bloated modern yes exciting yes spectacular yes but losing this sort of intimacy and power of a the experience of sitting as close to the pitch on top of the players as you can get. That has been the vision for the ultimate building. Um, that's going to be unique in, in, uh, when compared to any of the new buildings that we've seen in the league. I think that um, you know, one of the most unique things about it, uh, about the club, is obviously the, the notion of the people's club. In this case, that is translating into the architecture. Um, you can't see a game at Goodison and not understand how powerful the fans are um, to the outcome of the game and, and to the support of the team. There's no better home pitch advantage than, than a, a building like Goodison. And um, that sort of fan first attitude and football first attitude is, has been at the core of everything we're doing in, in looking at the early concept designs. I've been to Liverpool obviously a, a number of times in, throughout the project and and had the opportunity to meet people face to face um, out at a restaurant or at a pub. And um, again, there's been this kind of consistent, it would be easy for people to be skeptical, I think, and um, uh, uh, critical, but everyone is excited and everyone has really been supportive in bringing um, true passion and ideas to it. And, and again, that's what makes this unique. It's not just a building for a football club, it's, it's a home. Um, for every one of those people and, and generations of, of their families. I think one of the greatest challenges of this project is how do, you, how do you go from an iconic place like Goodison, which is, the word iconic gets used a lot, it, it, it's architecturally uh, not iconic in a, in a traditional way, but experien experientially it's very iconic. And, there are memories in that building that you can't replace and, and it's something that I think is the, the thing we think about most every day is to not lose that, the magic of Goodison. And you know, everybody can complain about a column in the seats and the, the old leaky building and things like that, but, but that history and the magic of, of the experience that people remember over years is something we want to bring to any new building. So that's that's one kind of iconic. And now we have this incredible site on the river and the opportunity, opportunity to do something that's architecturally iconic, bring those two things together. And I think we have the opportunity to do something that hasn't been done in any of the new buildings in the Premier League. And, and that's a real incredible opportunity.